Hi, welcome, Simon here. In this video, I'll be replacing the keyboard on the Dell XPX. First of all, let me show you the keyboard. This is a full assembly keyboard, meaning that the keyboard, palm rest, and the trackpad are all in one piece together. Now, can you replace just the keyboard itself? The answer is yes. It looks like you can remove all these tiny little screws and you can reuse the palm rest and the trackpad by replacing just the keyboard alone but for my case i'm just going to buy a full assembly pre-made it's a full set of this and replace entirely let me show you the model here so if you take a look at the back of the computer open up the uh, xpx and you should be able to identify the model it should be say p56f that is the model for this let's jump right into it I'll be using a Torque T5. So this is a Torque T5. We need to remove the screw here. And do not forget to remove two Phillips screw, which is hidden underneath. Okay, once that is done, let's go ahead and open up the back cover. Once that is removed, I will be removing, disconnect the battery by sliding down the connector here and remove the screws using a Phillips screwdriver. remove the entire battery now for those of you who wants to replace the battery the model for the battery is 6 g tpy let's see let's try to disconnect some of the cables the trackpad Disconnect the Wi Fi here. The white cable is on the left, the black cable is on the right. Disconnect, slide that Wi Fi cut out because we need to remove the, um, the LCD screen and transfer over. So, some of the things we need to remove and disconnect them would be like the bracket. You need to disconnect, uh, remove the bracket and disconnect the uh, LCD cable here by simply lifting straight up. So lift it up. They're kind of like Lego, they snap onto it to remove it just simply by pulling it straight up. Okay, and that is the uh, charging port here. Let's push it to the right.
Let's remove the screen. There are three screws holding it down on the right side hinge and three screws on the left side hinge. It might have been a tiny little screw here that we need to remove. Okay, let's see if we can open up the hinge. And then just slide it out the entire screen. Okay. Remove the DC jack, which is here. Remove that. So the thing's supposed to hold on to that, but I guess it broke off. Now the question is we need to re-tape it back down because here is the double-sided tape that is taping down to the uh, plastic here. So we need to re-tape that thing back again just later on. Okay, let's try to remove the motherboard and see if everything comes out. But before I do that, I disconnect the speaker. The connector is right here by simply just lifting straight up. I, would, I just disconnect that. I'm not sure if this is part of it. So let's disconnect this as well. It looks like the uh, the WAN wireless LAN is connected to uh, the same motherboard. Let's try to remove the CPU fan. Except this tiny little cable here. Almost missed it. All right, so the entire motherboard just came off. And let's take a look at the comparison on the replacement keyboard. We do have the backlight and the keyboard is connected so technically this thing does not need to be removed DC jack is provided as well so which is great I don't have to use that all I have to do is just reconnect this that should be it okay so let's bring the motherboard back.
make sure that the um, cables are sitting above the motherboard that is very important and this would be a bit difficult to reconnect because the cable is right there so te technically I need to remove the CPU fan in order to connect that cable all right so things are sitting correctly let's reconnect this it should be an easy process from now onwards I kind of forgot where the tiny little screw goes to. Might have been a. Would it be here? So to connect the speaker, making sure that the gold golden part of it, like the gold gold side of it will be facing your body okay so when I say the go part of it I'm referring to that go sided on this one not the other side Okay, that is in. Reconnect the PC adapter. Let's reconnect the keyboard. Trackpad. Okay. Oops. Too soon. We need to put in the screen first. Let's reconnect the screen. I'm just putting one screw in and I finish the rest once I close the screen down.
reconnect the uh, wireless card. The white goes on the left. And the black goes on to the right. Once it's connected, get the bracket and the screw and lock it in. Back to the LCD cable. Let's reconnect them back here. Once that is all done, let's reconnect the battery and that should be it. All right, now the only last thing to do is reconnect the, uh, the back cover. I'll start off with the two screws that goes in the middle. And that is done, so I'll be starting with the torque screw for the rest of the screws here covering up the back cover. So um, if you have any question, comment down below. I do read your comment and I will answer you through the comments. If you find this video is helpful, please smash the like button for me. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Really appreciate you for doing that. And again, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care and bye now.